the what she told me, and then okay, I I taking care of it. I said, what are you gonna do? Now, she's very detail oriented. I said, well, yes. I cannot explain exactly what I'm going to do, but I I think I know what you want. I said, I know you think you know, but I want to know. You know, you always people asking me that. I want to know what you're doing. Yeah, it's like, well, you know, how about delivering beautiful. Red roses make you know make a chandelier and then it's make it a turning revolving and as as you wish. And then she goes, okay, well you have done a lot of parties and a lot of decorations. I know what you can do, but I'm kind of scared. What are you gonna do? I said, trust me, I know what you want. And she walked in and she smiled on her face like, okay. She wasn't saying anything else. When you smile, walking and looking at it. That's all you need from your clients, right? Yeah. I don't want the client to be like going crazy. No, you want to walk in, smile on your face, like you be just your happy face. That makes me very happy. Then I do that all the time for my clients. Yeah. If someone, because you told we talked about budgets a little while ago, yeah. if someone were on a different budget, maybe yeah. not. You know, they're not going to come to you. But what is one thing? Like, what's one area where you could skimp? Like, is it either you know, if you have to, like. Dress, food, cl- um, flowers, uh, centerpieces. Like, what's one area? Not with Kevin Lee because we don't skimp. But if you were going to refer someone somewhere else, and they're like, we have to save someone. Like, is there one area? And this the opposite question too. Like, what's the one thing never skimp on? The food, the flowers, the whatever. When you do events, there is a certain thing you must have. So only the difference instead of us not to have it shape it, different way to doing it, instead of scale it, make it smaller. But components we need. Because when you go to a restaurant, you need, ha- you, need, you need to have a certain things, expecting it. Yeah. So people are expecting certain things. You cannot skip anything, because that's the protocol that you should have. But you, it, instead of spending uh, like high, most like uh, expensive liquor, like uh, for instance, Johnny Walker Blue is at the Beverly Hills Hotel is $65 a shot. Yeah. Okay? Instead of the shot, why don't you make uh, design drinks, a little less expensive. So there are many things you can do, make it fun, interesting drinks, instead of spending uh, expensive liquor to make expense like a, a bill that you, don't, you can't afford. Right. So there's uh, many things like a shaving and it's all about challenging your ideas to what you want. You get trying to get the what you want, but also same time not jeopardizing your quality down, but it's to make it out of the box. Think a little out of the box, make it more interesting. That's more more important to me. So there's always you can change things around. You know, what I mean? instead of a mess, you know, broken back, you can always have to make a similar different bag they can buy. You know what I mean? So there are sort of things, you know what I mean? You just don't have to have a broken back. But some of the ladies, you just have, I have to have a broken back, you know what I mean? But you don't have to have a broken back, you know, every time when you walk at the store. You can't always wear something else. There's something more designable, like, that fashionable things that it's like, oh, what is that? You know what I mean? I like that better. I, of course, when you're walking with any ladies with a broken back, it's with a crocodile already a broken back. So, oh my God, oh my gosh, it's $100,000 on that back. Yes, that's what they want. I get it. But if you can afford it, also you design wise something very interesting bags, like, a, oh my God, what kind of bag is that? It's really beautiful. It's, there's another way to approaching, different way to thinking of a designer out of the box. So what I'm saying is, um, as as like me as a designer, as a planner and a creator, it's not about the dollar sign. Yes, if you can afford it, you can show it, show the money. Why not? You know, but if you're not, there's a many ways you can show different things. You know, the you know design is limitless. I love designing anything because, you know, you think differently, it look different. You know, the other day I was decorating my home. I put in a one bar in the corner of the, my 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 dining room, and I said it was bothering me. I'd move things. I said, just let's just take it out and rest. Let's do it. And it just looked perfect. So a lot of times, it's not about there's no rule to it or anything. You know, design wise, just step back and think again. I said, how about how about doing this? How about that? It change things around makes a huge difference. It's the same thing in your life, like a, you know, 
certain things that you don't like, you don't have, I don't change your, your person person to to be somebody else. No, but there's a lot of things you can enhance to change something better, to make your life more more happier, brighter. This is all about, you know, I don't do drugs at all. I don't I don't smoke pots. I don't do anything bad things. It's not that any I, vodka or Johnny Walker Blue. I'm not a I'm not a big drinker either, but it makes me happy. I would do it. I'm telling you, I would do it. But it didn't make me happy. Very first time I tried the cocaine, very first time, I thought somebody punched my my nose. I said, "What the fuck that I'm doing this?" I hated it. One time I did a marijuana. It was put me to a different level of like, where am I? I, I got lost. I go. I was having a fun with my friend. All of a sudden, I lost. I was like, I don't like this. I want to have a good time with my friends, having, having good conversations and having fun. I don't want to stone myself like a, I'm in a different level of the, like, where am, I, where am I? I don't like that feeling of it. Then a lot of times, even alcohol, so like, a, you know, a couple of glasses of wine, it makes me feel good. It's, I love it. But the excessively drinking so much, it's like you don't even know where you are. Then you're throwing up and all that. For what? You know, when you go to parties, I want to have a good time with my friends and I'm enjoying the ambience and enjoying the great food, great music. You know, just like you're dazzling yourself. Why in a substance to make ruining your all night? You know, I don't want to do that. So a lot of times, be honest with you, when the people are doing drugs and big alcoholic people, I don't understand. I don't, I never bring down on anything. But I don't understand the level of the thinking. That's, that's why some people like alcoholic people, like, you know, they said go to, you know, AA meetings. Why are you wasting time at the AA meeting? Just just don't drink. <laughs> that's who I am. That's like, think differently, just sweep it. Don't drink. You know, a lot of times my, my friends who's like a really fat and big people, I said when, I, when they're eating, how they're eating, they eat so much, it's like, Cut it half. What's the big deal? Eat less. Tell them, telling yourself, eat less. That's all. Telling yourself, eat less. That's all. What's the big difference? What does it make a big difference to making your, your, yourself to like telling yourself, cut it half? Well, you did tell Katie Maloney on Vanderpump Rules that she gained some weight <laughs> yeah, too, and she I, had I to did. lose weight. <laughs> she didn't really seem to think that was so nice. No, it's not. You know, but I got, oh my God, you, I'm glad you said it. You know that that, that, that people that, that, came that, for you for a minute, you right? Know, you know, I'm telling you, when that that episode aired, <gasps> I have to shut down my Instagram. I have to shut down my Facebook. I got calls. Oh my God, I couldn't believe it. That people are yelling me. I thought you're a lovely guy. I hate you. How you can say that person? No, it didn't came from me that she's fat. No, when I met her very first time. She was a thin, can be gorgeous, like a model. But I haven't seen her for a while. Then I was kind of surprised that she's a little chubbier than before that I used to. I, you know, I've been seeing, I go to Sir all the time, and she was gorgeous. So when I see ladies, I said, you know, just, they need a little booster. A lot of times when you're living in, you know, doing things, you forget what you look like, and you eat, eat things, you 